Planning Commission regular meeting to order Wednesday, November 18th, 2020. And uh, we will go ahead and start with the Pledge of Allegiance. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Thank you. Um, as has been the case for the last several months, this is uh, limited in-person attendance at this meeting. And uh, when the uh, public comment sections come up, uh, the public can call in at a number that will be listed on the screen. And so we'll go ahead right now for public comment. Public comment during this portion of the agenda must be limited to matters on the agenda for action. Each, per, each person has up to five minutes to speak on a specific agenda item. If an agenda item is also listed as a public hearing, persons may wait to speak until that particular item. So time is now open for public comment. The phone number for calling in is 702-589-9629. It appears we won't be receiving any phone calls this evening, so we'll go ahead and close the uh, public, the first public comment and move on the agenda for possible action, approval of the minutes of the October 21st, 2020 regular meeting. We have a move for approval. Second. Second. Attorney Biasi, I would move approval. So Mr. Biasi was the uh, move for approval and a second by Mr. Lazoff. Any discussion? Call for a vote. All in favor? Aye. 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 Any opposed? Okay. Agenda item number one passes unanimously. Number two for possible action. 2021 land management process list resolution number 1198 city of Boulder City. A public hearing and recommendation to the City Council on one proposal for the land management process list for 2021 for light warehousing business caretaker residence use on property at 1030 Industrial Road. Staff. Thank you, Mr. Chairman. The Planning Commission usually only sees land management pl plan, excuse me, process items about once a year um, per our normal process. And the purpose of our land management process ordinance is to establish a more formal procedure for the City Council to consider possible future dispositions of city-owned land. And part of that process involves advertising the process so that respondents can submit applications. And this year, only one application was submitted. And that's for um, part of the property at 1030 Industrial Road. The applicant, uh, Mr. Floyd, who is present, owns the adjacent parcel at 1020 Industrial Road. And he's interested in acquiring approximately one and a half acres of the adjacent property known as Track 220 owned by the city. And um, his intent, you know, if this request is successful, would be to develop the property for light warehousing and business and storage units with caretaker residences. The caretaker residence aspect wasn't originally listed as part of his application. He referred to it as industrial lofts, but when we questioned what he meant by that, that was his intent. And in further discussion with him, he said his desire would be that 
each unit could potentially have its own caretaker residence, which would require actual subdivision of the property because under the code, a single commercial property could only have one caretaker residence, even if that had 20 or 100 RV, say, or business spaces. But in order to have one caretaker residence per unit, it would need to be subdivided so that people could own those units. And obviously subdividing the land requires that the person would own the land in order to do that. And since this area that he'd like to buy is over one acre, per the city charter, it would require a vote of the people, of the of voters of the city at an election. And so as the report notes, this land management process is the first of many, many steps that would need to be considered. And as noted here, the council referred this item to the planning commission for basically a very broad land use recommendation. Is the proposed use expected to be compatible with other uses in the area. Um, your recommendation would go back to the city council and then they would determine whether or not to add it to the land management process list. And if that happens, then there could be further negotiations. And in this case, since the applicant has indicated he's only interested in purchasing and not leasing the property, pretty much that matter would have to go before the voters before anything further can be done. But again, those are much later steps. This is just the first step in the process regarding land use. There's a draft resolution, um, which is written in alternate forms, depending on whether or not the Planning Commission wishes to recommend that this request should or should not be included with the land management process list and the resolution will be modified according to the Planning Commission's recommendation. And with that, um, I'll take any questions. Thank you, Susan. Do we have any questions for staff? Yes, yeah, Susan, just one clarification. On the um, map that was shown, uh, there actually are three um, parcels there. Um, um, the, the, I think it's 10, 20, 30, 50, and then there's the larger parcel. Uh, what I wasn't sure about is the parcel number, that long number, <laughs> um, is that inclusive, let me, if I can be specific, the uh, 18605401011, is that inclusive of all of those uh, pieces, those parcels? It doesn't include the parcels identified as 1020 or 1050, but basically it is that big part in the red area uh -huh. and then the blue highlighted section, which is the portion that the applicant is interested in. Okay, okay. Okay. Any other questions? Okay. Thank you, Susan. The applicant is here. Would you like to address the Planning Commission at all? My name is Dave Floyd. I'm a 20-year resident of Boulder City, and uh, I've had some other properties here in town, but I have a piece adjacent to that and there's a big valley uh, drainage issue the city's dealing with on this and, and then the property that you recommended at 10 or mentioned at 1050 is privately owned as well so there's just a little uh, I'll say a little bit but an acre and a half piece in between ours and all we're trying to do is square that line up and and then also uh, through this process it would also solve that drainage issue that needs to be remedied so you have any sure. questions of me any questions for the applicant? If, um, yeah, Ernie Biasi, if if you were to um, um, get the city to, let's say, sell it, and then eventually, let's say, zone it the way it needs to be, would your intent, not that it really matters a lot, but would since you own the other parcel, would you try to combine them or just put the same kind of development on both of uh, those parcels? I would combine them and, and, and do okay. one parcel uh, so or do one too. project. Yeah. Uh, I, I still, the zoning would be uh, in the same zoning that I'm already in, right. and we would do the project regardless. It would just be the, the, the scope of the project. The one parcel would be. Right. We have, a, we talking, have a lot we of We still extra, have to be zoned that way, though. Correct. But so. we have a lot of extra dirt also 
on ours that we're going to remove. I'm sorry. And uh, on that parcel, there's a, there's a big valley that actually runs that thing across the highway or across the uh, industrial into another property. I don't know if you're aware of that issue, but. Anybody else? Yes, Paul. Uh, Paul Matuska. Um, <clears throat> if this were to go through to completion, you were able to uh, develop your project. Um, kind of give us maybe a little overview of what what you're looking at. We read it in the um, in our um, package, but approximately how large are the uh, individual units you're in? You're planning? Yeah, the individual units would be in that thousand square foot range. Each unit. I see. Yeah. And look like about a half a dozen of them? Well, it'd be about a half dozen if, if I'm not able to buy the property. Ah, um, got it. And then it would probably uh, it would be a half dozen on the current parcel. It would probably be uh, 14 uh, total. I think it would allow us about eight more units. Got it. I've not really gone to the architect and gone on through that to that detail at this at this point, but I've done some preliminary right. work. Thank you. That's all I have actually. Okay. Anybody else? Sir, thank you for your time. Okay. Thank you. <clears throat> thank you and this is a public hearing, so we'll open the uh, time for additional uh, time for phone calls if. If uh, anybody is inclined to call in, We will go ahead and close the public hearing portion of this agenda item and uh, bring it for discussion to the Planning Commission. Uh, Mr. Chairman, I'm ready to make a motion that uh, this should be included in the land management process um, and reference the staff findings. Can I ask if your motion is inclusive and approving of the uh, draft resolution that was given by staff? Inclusive of resolution 1198. Okay. Yes. And that it should. It should. Okay. Thanks for clarifying. We have a motion on the floor that the uh, draft resolution be approved for this use. This is uh, um, Ernie Biasi. I'll, I'll second it. Thank you. We have a second by Member Biasi. Any discussion? Okay, then uh, we have a motion and a second. We'll call for a vote. All in favor of approving uh, Planning Commission Resolution number 1198 as drafted by staff? Aye. Aye. I'm sorry. Staff, do you have more comments? Just to clarify the motion, because there were findings within the resolution alternate version, so your motion is to um, approve the resolution subject to the amendment that it would be recommending that the property should be included and with the findings for that inclusion. That was that was the intent of your of your motion, right? Yeah, I apologize if Susan misunderstood, but that was my intent. I understood the intent. It just wasn't. Okay. I agree. Fair enough. Then uh, all in favor? 
Aye. 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 Is there any post? Okay. The motion um, for the recommendation to City Council is approved. And moving on to agenda item number three, monthly progress report on development allotments. No comment. No comment. And this is the final public comment. Uh, people can call in 702-589-9629. Each person has up to five minutes to speak. Okay, we'll close the uh, final public comment and call our meeting adjourned.